Rove, and that was Madness, and we're here now with Brian Brain, which is comprised of Bobby, Martin, and Pete. Okay. Right. Hello. Mm -hmm. Say hello. 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 Wow, we're really vibed up today. I can tell already. It was a light night. Oh, Sorry about that. <laughs> Whoever thought of putting a band on at three in the morning must be mad. Yeah, three in the morning in two sets. This was at Danceteria on uh, Saturday night, and Brian Brain played. And yes. uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about how it went? Um, first set was pleasant. Second set was absolutely crazy. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, well, not only do they put you on at three in the morning, but they give you two dustbins full of beers and a bottle of vodka. Mm -hmm. So... Fatal mistake. Fatal mistake. <laughs> With us, it's a fatal <laughs> mistake. Normally, people would say, now, okay, let's have a drink after the show. But we went a bit crazy. Yeah, if it's there, you're bound to drink it. Yeah, we're now paying the price. It was the first day as well, and it was our 100th gig, so we were celebrating. Oh, and it was, uh, got a bit out of hand, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Yeah. Hence the state we're in now. But we're well, living up. Okay, all right. So, why don't, why don't you tell me, hmm, this is your fourth time in America? Yeah. That's for yeah. Yeah. In in about how long is it? Eighteen months as well. Yeah, eighteen yeah. months. Wow. We're always here. We'll always be here. Are you planning on moving here? Well, yes. Mm. Mm. I don't great. know whether we can talk about that right. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's just I think it's great that you can be here four times in tour in eighteen months without ever being signed to an American label. So, I don't uh, think that's great. I think I think uh well, it's good that we could do it, but mm -hmm. it would be nice if we if we could get um, some distribution set up over here, because at the moment the records are just available on import, mm -hmm. and it's a bit of a drag, you know, not having record company support over here because we miss all the free meals and all the parties sure. yeah. and uh, drugs and stuff. So, exactly how many records do you have out? And uh, why don't you, there's the Unexpected Noises album. Well, that was the Unexpected Noises album was put together very, very quickly mm -hmm. at a stage when I was very naive about doing things like that. I'd just been sacked from Pill the first time mm -hmm. before they asked me to sort them out. But, um, and we just threw this thing together, and it's basically demo tapes. And it shouldn't really have been released. It hasn't helped us to have it released. Mm -hmm. But the first single was released in March 1980. And mm -hmm. since the album, we've done a four-track 12-inch and Jar Jar. Oh, that four-track 12-inch had uh, careering on it. And, yeah. And um, what Some else? people. Tourists. Tourists. Tourist, got them. another game yeah. before. That's a great EP. I, I well, actually went out and bought that. And, yeah. And, uh, we just yeah. finished... Um, We've been recording some a new 12-inch with the brass section from Q-Tips, mm. which is uh, tasty. Yeah, they're a rockabilly band from England. No, well, sort of they're sort of sort of mm -hmm. like Blues Brothers, isn't it? That Blues Brothers thing in a way, sort of. Well, they're very soulful. Okay, so the last thing that you've actually released is that single. Why don't you take it up and show well, it to the viewing audience? Right. Okay. Jive, jive, and we're Opens out into a full colour gatefold sleeve. Let me tell you, it's a bargain. Available in import shops everywhere. So, um, you guys really look like you enjoy yourselves when you're playing. So, um, that's the essence of it all, really. Yeah. You're not enjoying it. You're if you can't have them. a good laugh, then what's it all for? All right. So, why don't we just watch the video now? Okay. And that was Jive Jive, Brian's latest single. So um, I feel it only fair to warn most people who go see Brian Brain that a lot of the stuff is actually taped beforehand. Not a lot of the stuff. Well, no. Nah. So um, the reason Brian Brain started was because I've been sat behind a drum kit for so long watching John, Keith, and Wobble, and everybody else dancing around, having a great time. And I'd be there, oh, God. Mm. And uh, <laughs> so I thought, right, you know. I'll sing. 
So and you can't uh, sing and drum at the same time. One would have to go. You know? Yeah, so we put um, we we go in the studio and put the drums on tape, and um, leaves me free to roll around the stage. I can have a dance around, and it's it's, it's, it's interesting it. from a, a sound point of view, and um, just it's aesthetically good. <laughs> You're <blind. laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Egomania it's comes out behind drums and takes the stage. No, it's not, um, that's there's, basically there's it. Yeah. Much, yeah. There's not much apart from the drums that are on. There's drums mm -hmm. and percussion and uh, brass section. Brass section on one number. Which number is that? Too many flies. Uh -huh, you did that twice at Dance Fury? Yeah. That's we did it twice every night. Yeah. Yeah. Same old yeah, tape every night. Yeah. Yeah. Due to exactly. popular demand. <laughs> <laughs> the whole idea of this, this group. Oh, look at this. <laughs> the whole idea of this group is for us to have a real good time. We succeeded in doing that. And we, we still don't say, oh, God, we're doing a gig, blah, blah, blah. We still really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And we hope that the audience enjoy it. And that's what we aim to do, to give the audience a good time. But we have a good time as well. And the more that the audience enjoys themselves, the then the more we enjoy ourselves. So that's, that's it in a nutshell. That's it in a five-minute nutshell. Well, that is the essence of my brain. I That's all, entertainment. All these groups that go on, and they all stand there, looking at the frets, God, I've got to get this note right, I've got to get this one right, and it's the most boring thing in the world, even if the music's brilliant, because you've got to stand at the bar to get a drink, and queue to get in the club, and pay, then go home on the bus or whatever. And if you want to hear brilliant music, you should go home and put your headphones on. But if you... The idea of a group on stage is to be visually entertaining as well as orally. Orally. Yeah, orally. Oh, orally entertaining. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One nil to us. Okay. <laughs> drunk, okay. drunk again. They're drunk. Yes, the chance rolling around too. Got a bottle of scotch over there, isn't it? Well, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> onwards with the interview. So, um, what, what, how far um, are you going on this particular tour? All the way. All the way, all all the way. All the way on this tour. <laughs> okay, and I, 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 understand, I understand you're driving around in just like a station wagon. No! no a Chevy. A Chevy. Oh. A Chevy Got a 69 Chevy with a bonnet. <laughs> yeah, we're going around in um, it's our first time in a car. This is my first time in a car. <laughs> so uh, we've been flying everywhere, mm -hmm. and it gets a bit worrying, you know, because the last time we were here, all these planes were crashing. You know, the one hit the Washington Bridge that time. We was flying around. We were, yeah. Oh. Oh, and all these planes were skidding off the runway. We thought, hello, oh, well, right. it's going to be us one day. Yeah. But we thought we'd stop all this and start driving around. Of course, of course, it's cheaper. <laughs> Yeah, that may come into it, yeah. So when, yeah. when are you going to be playing New York again? Um, May the 1st is the I'll Irving say. Plaza. Uh, <laughs> Mug Club is Tenth? Monday the 10th, and that's free. Free at the Mug Club? Oh, yeah. is it? <laughs> is it? <laughs> I think it is free on a Monday night. Oh, yeah, it's free on a Monday night. It's definitely right. free on a Monday night. So free come down on a Monday night. Sorry. 77 White Street. Well, is it really day. free? I don't know. Yeah, it's really free. Aren't we Drinks getting paid then? <laughs> Do we a favour? <laughs> Somebody else written us off, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, where else are we playing? Legs. Where's that? Legs is Long Island. Legs on Long Island. Okay. When's that? Um, <laughs> 12. 13th. 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 Or thereabouts. So oh, we're really zipping around all over the place. Yeah, really. In and around New York. Are you playing Boston? Yeah, we're playing yeah. Uh, Spit again. We've been playing all over the place, as usual. Mm -hmm. You know, the same old circuit. We're playing atop this bar, aren't we, as well, in Boston? Yeah, so that's going to be fun. Oh, wait, that's the Mavericks. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's where strippers... everybody hangs out. Yeah, the strippers stop at 9 o'clock, so you've got to get your sound check in. So you've got to be there before 6. Right. I just, I've got an interesting story about me backing a stripper on stage when I was uh, about oh, 14 we're... years old. We're going to have to get on with this anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You'll Too never bad. know. <laughs> The right info, we will okay. tell you about it. All right, now we're going to have a look at a video by Pig Bag.
This is Electron Man. Video Wave can be seen at 9.30 and 2.30 on Channel D.